hello everyone uh, welcome to my video today we're going to see how you can upload uh, excel data that you hold in your local computer onto your sharepoint as a custom list so this is my sample data it's a financial sample data which i downloaded from microsoft site i will give you the url of this where you can download um, you can just download and play around and this is as you can see a simple uh, spreadsheet of sample financial data you have loads of rows on, on there and as you can see the first column we call segment it will be the first column in the custom list also so just uh, take a note of this and once then we move on to the actual site itself here we have uh, office 365 test site in which we're going to upload our sample excel data right the way we do is we're going to create an app called import spreadsheet um, it's not a particularly we are not creating an app itself it is just an app embedded within office 365 i'm going to use that app to upload it to the sharepoint list um, before you continue there is two prerequisites for the data upload first is you got to be having an edit permission to the site so you need to have edit permissions contribute permission is not sufficient you have to have edit permissions um, designer permission is fine if you are a site collection administrator it's also fine uh, if you're a site owner is also fine but at least you need to have an edit permissions secondly you have to use internet explorer as the browser where you are trying to upload if you use google chrome or firefox you will get an error Saying, stating you have to have ActiveX control enabled. So ActiveX is more associated only to the Internet Explorer browser. Um, so you have to use Internet Explorer. So there's no other way. You can also uh, embed IE tab, Internet Explorer tab in, my, in Google Chrome. That is also another way that you can achieve. But the simplest uh, way to achieve is just open an Internet Explorer and log into the site and upload the data, what you want to. Um, so I am currently logged in as uh, site collection administrator and I am using Internet Explorer as a browser. Right. Now we go and create an app and you can do this by from the home page you can create this app link or you can go to this gear icon on the top right and click on add an app. So I'm going to click add an app from here. It takes you to the your apps page of the site it's still loading yes you come down search for the app name import spreadsheet here we go we have this app you click on that it asks you to create a new app don't worry it won't create a new app all we are going to do is creating a new list for your spreadsheet that you want to upload is actually technically creating a new custom list not creating an app called uh, import spreadsheet so we're going to give the site uh, list name so sorry just finance data list and browse uh, this is where i have downloaded from my local computer so i'm going to choose the same one click open and you click on import please wait for it to load it take a few seconds once the pop-up has been loaded uh, you can see it has chosen the the table which is the excel sheets first sheet and you need to select this range which is the sheet one and financials the financial is the internal table name for the spreadsheet so you don't need to worry about that so you just need to select the first sheet one and click on import and wait for it to upload it since it has a large number of records it will take some time to load okay so the page has been redirected to the list itself uh, it means the upload has been completed successfully and you can see the all the data has been uploaded um, which is fine and the first column which I showed you in the spreadsheet segment, um, 
becomes the first column it will be the title of the list itself so it will be the clickable field uh, nothing else will be clickable so the first one will be obviously clickable so you can click on that to go to navigate into the item and see if you want to edit or you want to make changes to it uh, and you can close it um, so you have all the data imported the only drawback for this kind of upload is once you have a new list created through import spreadsheet app you cannot add one more chunk of data uh, from an excel spreadsheet onto an existing list uh, all you can do with the spreadsheet you can create a new list using the import spreadsheet app but you cannot add an existing list amended from an ex, uh, already existing spreadsheet data so which is another drawback um, so yeah this is pretty much everything so it's simple and easy to upload if you have already a chunk of data wondering how you can get it to online so this is the easiest way uh, so hope this will be helpful for you guys and thanks for watching bye